Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a fire hose valve in Revit. Fire hose valves, very simple. You have a fireman, fire hose, fire hose connected to the fire hose valve, put out the fire. No mystery there. So let's go. See you in Revit. Now think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, you can subscribe to the channel. If you click that bell, you get notifications and then you don't miss any of our new videos. And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com and there you can contact me directly for some professional training. All right, so I'm gonna start a new family. So I'll go here under families, new. So I'm gonna select a generic model for now, just a standard generic model. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here to family categories and parameters, and I'm gonna change from generic model to pipe accessory. And I'm gonna bring in my cut sheet as a PDF, but I'm not gonna bring it on the top plane. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the front view, and then here is where I'm gonna bring it. So I'm gonna go insert PDF, and I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna keep 300 DPI for resolution. We don't really need that much. It doesn't matter, we'll remove it afterwards. And I can put it wherever I want for now. My preference would have been to change this into a DWG file and then bring in the DWG file a lot cleaner than this, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna do something here real quick. So I'm just gonna scale this up. I'll grab it from here. I'm gonna go here under scale. I'm gonna keep graphical. You can select this point to this point, and that's gonna be equal to this distance B, which is 11 inches for the two and a half version. So 11 inches. And now if I were to create a line from here that is 11 inches, that should be about the same. So that's pretty good. And I'm gonna move this from more or less the center line of this to the intersection. And I'm gonna create a revolve and for that, my boundary line is gonna start here. I'm gonna go here, here, here. It's not perfect. I could do the chamfers and the radius and all that, but we don't really care about that. We're just trying to eyeball it here. It's not too important. This one we should, this one's pretty big. So let's just go like that. We'll go back to line. Again, just eyeballing this. And then we can close it. Now we're gonna specify an axis of revolution. I'm gonna pick my line, it says this one here. I'm gonna finish. That's pretty decent. And then now I'm gonna do something similar. I'm gonna create a reference plane, create similar, and I'm gonna pick line and I'm gonna offset. How much am I gonna offset? I'm gonna offset D and D is two and three quarters. So 2.75 inches. And I'm gonna click here. And we can see there's a little bit of deviation here, but it's not a big deal. And then I'm gonna create similar one more time. And I'm just gonna eyeball a reference plane somewhere around here. Click escape. I'm gonna create another revolve now. Create, revolve. I can probably start somewhere around here. You know, something like that. Again, we're just eyeballing here. This is not too important. I'm gonna close. I'm gonna specify my axis line. I'm gonna pick this line and hit okay. Now I'm gonna to go to my top plane and I'm gonna do a circle of diameter A, which is five and a quarter. Let's name this plane, let's name it handle. I'm gonna to go to my reference level and here I'm gonna create, I'm gonna set a plane first. The plane is handle. I'm gonna create this modeling line first, which is gonna be a circle. I'm gonna to go to my isometric view so we can now create a sweep. So we come here to create. We want to do a sweep. Uh, we're going to set our plane 
and we can keep the handle reference plane which is this one that's where we want our path to live so we can pick a path it's this one and now we want to edit our profile what do we want to do as far as a profile it can be a little circle just like that something like I think we said three sixteenths of an inch and uh, looks about right then just hit OK and now finish boom there you go now we do the same thing for the cross of the handle I think for that I'm gonna go to the reference plane and I'm gonna do create what am I gonna do a sweep I wanna pick a plane that plane can remain handle that's where I want it so I'm gonna go back to sweep and I'm going to sketch a path I think this is the one for the handle hopefully let's see from here to here that's fine and now we can edit the profile for that let's go to a 3d view and I'm gonna do a little circle and we set 3 16 of an inch hit OK now finish it that's pretty decent now let's go back to reference level and just rotate we're going to copy this we give it 90 degrees and now we're good to go now the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my front view and i'm going to rotate the whole thing using the intersection as the base point and i'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so when i drop it in 3d view right this is my top plane then what happens is that i have my connection at the bottom that's perfect and then let's take one last look at our see like this extrusion here is missing it's not an extrusion it's a revolve but this is missing a little bit so I think I can there you go that's a lot better right now it looks a lot better there you go now we can save our family and if you're interested in the AJS Firehose valve you can download it by scanning the QR code that you see on screen right now